My name is Chris Hines and I'm one of the organisers of the Devon Animal Safe Group in the UK. I recently started to compile a video showing 2016 undercover footage from UK farms and slaughterhouses documenting the fate of the animals in our food system. What I have seen has shocked me so much that I've actually been compelled to make this footage public as I feel this is something that we should all see. As a vegan, I'm constantly hearing people tell me that it, these things don't happen in this country or that the UK has high welfare standards. I think anyone who would watch this video would probably argue differently. What you're about to see is a compilation of undercover footage that really shows the reality of what is going on in this country. And these are not isolated incidents. As you'll see from the video, these are things that are happening again and again and again. In fact, some of what you will see is actually considered standard practice in the industry. So in 2017, ask yourself, what is the moral justification for us to keep harming and taking animals' lives for food when we have alternatives available? No matter how the animals are treated, are we really still justified to continue to harm and kill them for something we really don't need? You can help make this stop. Please, please do not ignore their suffering. Please stop eating animal products. Thank you. thought that the cage had been banned in Britain for birds that are kept for their eggs. The 
battery cage has been, but look what it's been replaced with. These are so-called enrichment cages. Instead of five hens to a cage, which was the battery cage, there are now 40 to 80 birds in a cage. This where I'm standing now is one of the big producers called Bird Brothers. They've got about 450,000 birds kept in cages. They have a space that's less than the size of this postcard, more reach than they had in a battery cage. Don't you think this whole thing's a marketing con? I don't know how this makes you feel, but I find this pretty hard to take. These mothers have just given birth recently, and they're in what are called farrowing crates. You can see the mothers can barely move with just the bars fit around them. This mother's giving birth to a piglet that's died. She was trying to nuzzle the dead piglet. She's called 503. Her other baby's dying. Can you imagine keeping your dog like this? Or chimpanzees like this? Or humans like this? These animals are fiercely intelligent. Beautiful, sociable creatures. How can anyone in their right mind support this? This is about making a buying decision to not eat bacon, pork, ham, sausages. There are vegan versions of all those things that don't involve any suffering, no cruelty, none of this. This is just an illustration. Yet again, how many times does Viva have to expose this?
cutie. Oh, you are beautiful. You don't deserve this at all. Oh. No, you don't. Wait, Nicky, can you possibly grab the sign off this? Oh, my goodness. Oh, okay. Oh, my goodness. If you can see this. Okay now. These ladies here are, are in uh, what's called farrowing crates. Um, they don't have any room to turn around. Um, you can see them, they're, they're trying to interact with us and say hello, but they can't. Um, and they'll, they'll be in this sort of conditions for, for weeks, six weeks or what. Um, their babies have been weaned and taken away from them, so at the moment um, they're on their own. It's filth, this place is filthy. There's rats, there's maggots, there's flies. It's disgusting. I mean, they've got, they've got to live here. We, we're going home tonight. They've got to live here. And so even if you didn't give a shit about these pigs and, and, the, and the misery that they're going through, you, do you really want to eat this? You know, it, it's filthy. It's cold. What does that, what does that mean? It means... She's a cull animal. So this is her last cycle, and she's going to be killed. So, that, so that's it, won't she? That's the end of her life now. So she's been in this crate twice a year for three years. She's <coughs> no longer of use to the industry. somebody that's won awards, it's had hairy bikers 
Angela Rippon down here, ITV. Of course, they only film at the front. Uh, they've got a free range section. Behind, there are many, many sheds. This place is actually vast. They say they have to bring the pigs in here to protect them from the weather in nice, cosy barns. This is the nice, cosy barn. If you look what she's standing on, you've got concrete at the front and these perforated metal at the back. And in fact, it's the smells from places like this which destroys the lining of their respiratory system, which is one of the reasons pneumonia is so common. I mean, in effect, they're in a box in this side with these lids on, open at the other end, where they're all crammed in. You can see these animals are covered in their own excreta. There's flies in here. They're stood on concrete and they're given absolutely nothing, nothing to do. A farm worker is using a metal ratchet to pull a calf from this cow. This uncomfortable and stressful procedure is common on dairy farms where the miracle of motherhood is exploited for profit. Just hours later, this new mother is repeatedly abused, along with other cows and even tiny calves. Other cows on the same farm suffer from crippling lameness and pressure sores. These painful conditions affect half of all dairy cows in the UK every year. Some cows are forced to wear chains called hobbles for months on end. These primitive devices are used on mother cows who've suffered pelvic damage during calving. A common problem for modern dairy cows who've been selectively bred for maximum milk production at the expense of their physical well-being. Male dairy calves are considered worthless by dairy farmers as they'll never produce milk. These two tiny calves were shot dead and callously left in full view of nursing and pregnant cows. 